Welcome back to Out of the Rough. I'm Fred Arnold. I'm joined by Stephanie Cornthwaite. Hi. I got well it right. Done. Yes. That's amazing. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, president of Cornthwaite Consulting, but you're an expert when it comes to CPR. You teach classes, um, safety, Stephanie, CPR, and teaching and first aid training. And first aid training. Yeah. So. You're in Santa Clarita Valley. Yes. Tell us about quickly your background on CPR, and then I want to get into some specifics when it comes to it. Well, I worked in the medical and dental field for many years, and so I had to be CPR and first aid trained. Uh, in Alaska, I taught for a year for the American Red Cross um, as my own business. In mm -hmm. England, I taught for four years as a volunteer Red Cross instructor uh, to the community and to um, our volunteers as well. Mm -hmm. And I've been here for just about 18 months teaching CPR and first aid to the community, to medical professionals, and well, anyone who wants to take my class. Well, who should know CPR? Everybody should know CPR. Everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, CPR is a life saving thing. You can save someone's life uh, just by doing compression only CPR. And everybody's heard of just pumping hard and pumping fast to uh, staying alive. Mm -hmm. Especially, you know, the Bee Gees. Everybody should know the Bee Gees as well. Well, you know, what's interesting is uh, <laughs> I finally got that one. The Bee Gees. <laughs> Pump hard, fast, and stay alive. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, children, right? They, they might save children. the life of a, of a, a parent. Even if a child can't do the compressions, they can call 911. Mm -hmm. They know when mommy and daddy don't feel good, when something's not right, they can mm -hmm. call 911. Mm -hmm. Because when in doubt, call 911. They'll be able to walk you through CPR and first aid. So learning CPR is really important. But explain to me, when you're just doing the compressions and you're getting air in there, but you're still, I guess, unconscious, that might save their life while medical personnel come. What you're doing is you're compressing the heart and squishing the blood out into the rest of the body. And then when you let up, you're letting blood back in to fill the heart so you can do it again. And so with hands-only CPR, it's appropriate for anything that isn't choking or uh, drowning. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, it's a way to save a life. Mm -hmm. It increases people's chance of, of being alive. Tremendously. By, by a lot. Yeah. There's story after story after story that you'll see on TV yeah. where someone's just giving compressions for a long time yeah. and it was just enough to keep the oxygen to the brain and, yes. and keep the person alive. Yes, until uh, medical help arrived. Yeah. So yeah. when in doubt, call 911 and do hands-only CPR. So tell me about the classes you provide. I teach uh, group classes. I keep my class sizes to approximately 10 students to allow me to give them the one-on-one -on -one attention and the time for them to practice. Practice, and that's so important. Uh, learning the videos and reading out of the book and the lecture is great, but if you don't put that to practice, put that to muscle memory, you're not going to remember when uh, the time comes. And think about when you go on a field trip with your children. Um, what if someone were to need it? Think about um, if you're a coach and somebody needs it right then and there. Coaches are required. The seven or eight minutes that it takes for medical personnel to get there. That might seem pretty quick, or it's even five minutes, but without oxygen for five minutes. Your brain begins to die. Yeah, exactly. Or it has died. And it really, it, so um, good reasons why. Tell us about how someone can put a group together and or come to an individual class. Well, uh, that's fantastic. I offer classes at Home Care Assistance, Santa Clarita on Cinema Drive. They've been kind enough to offer me space, and so I have regular classes, um, usually once a week, sometimes twice. Uh, and uh, I'm happy to uh, just share that with them. And so if you want to contact me, my phone number will be available. It's, and just call and register. And we will get you set up with a class to learn all of the good techniques. One of which is doing, um, everybody's heard of abdominal thrusts. You can do that on yourself. So what is that? So everybody knows that when someone's choking, they're not making any noise, they're doing the universal sign. You can take this part of your fist right here on your thumb, find your belly button, and pull in and up, hard and fast, mm -hmm. until it pops out. Yeah. And get help. Yes, and get help. And you should see a doctor. So let's that. do a rapid fire real quick. OK. Uh, someone passes right. out on you. What do you do? Well, you uh, want to check the scene, make sure it's safe. You want to check yourself, make sure you have gloves. So there's three checks. Then you check them. Tap and shout. Are you OK on their shoulders? Uh, if they respond, great. Then they just fell asleep. Uh, if they don't mm -hmm. respond, call 911. If you're by yourself, go and make that phone call. If there's someone with you, point at them, look them in the eye, and tell them, call 911 and bring me back an AED if one is available. And then you want to check bleeding, or I'm sorry, breathing uh, for no more than 10 seconds. Look for bleeding or any other signs of major injury. 
and then look for medical alert jewelry, which is not always ugly as where we usually, you know, remember those big old things. Yeah, remember things. that and back in the day? This is my medical alert. You'll mm -hmm. see uh, this uh, symbol. Everybody knows what the medical alert symbol is. And mine's a little heart, so no, you know, it doesn't look uh, hideous anymore. That's evasive, yeah. Yes, and so uh, look to see. Sometimes it's on their wrist, sometimes it's around their neck, and sometimes it's on their ankle. Yeah. Um, quick first aid tip. Um, if you're bleeding and you've, you know, cut yourself while you're making that salad, make sure you put lots of pressure on it to make it to stop the bleeding and then uh, cover it with a clean dressing. And if it doesn't stop right away, add to, don't take it off and look at it um, and then go to the hospital. Have someone Pre look at pressure, it. Pressure, pressure, pressure. <laughs> pressure, pressure. Most importantly, coming to one of your classes and, and you teaching this, how can those that want to find out more? Well, I teach for both American Red Cross and the American Heart Association. So that, though both those certifications for CPR AED, which is the Automatic External Defibrillator, uh, the shock, and uh, first aid are two-year valid certificates. Mm -hmm. And so when you come and take my class and you've passed the um, required evaluations and tests, then I'll give you a card and uh, you're good for two years. You're good to go. And those yes. that want to register for your class, what can they find more information? You can go to www.safetystef, S-A-F-E-T-Y-S-T-E-P-H, dot com. Safety, safety Steph. Steph. I'm Steph, so Safety <laughs> Steph. Uh, you can find me on Facebook as Safety Steph. You can call me, 661-755-4483. 755-4483. Yeah, okay. and that's how you find me. Great. Well, thanks for coming in. Thank you. Appreciate it, and go save a life. Okay, you too. We're going to jump to a quick break, and we'll be right back.